yeah, seaweed noodles or uh, other uh, things with iodine in them. And you really need to, to get into uh, probiotics as well. So I'm eating sauerkraut, yogurt. I'm going to look into kefir as well. Uh, I do some uh, supplement uh, vitamins for D vitamin, uh, uh, magnesium, uh, and also uh, I eat uh, supplements for uh, there are two herbs and uh, they one is in the liver medicine and that's the Shisandra really helps with. Uh, with stress and uh, not losing things as much uh, and uh, we got uh, uh, Rosenrot uh, I can write below what it is in English which is also a great herb um, those two have made made me not need my anxiety meds anymore at all so I'm I've I've dosed down on them a lot um, um, I still eat antidepressants and I eat a new medicine for ADD that hides my blood pressure, unfortunately. Um, uh, it's Voxera Pyroxetin and uh, the ADD medicine seems to escape me every time, but I, I buy the one that's, that's priciest just because it will uh, help you the longest time during the day, like with impulse control and stuff like that, being able to stop yourself from doing and non totter things. Uh, I don't think it helps that much with concentration and it keeps me up at night as well, so it has some really bad sides to it. Um, that's the worst part about ADD medicine. It gives you more dopamine during the day that you need, but because you have a lack of it, but then you have trouble sleeping instead. So I'm probably gonna switch to melatonin there instead. Uh, but I do think uh, that uh, it's important to point out here that uh, that weight uh, can't really be solved uh, before I get my thyroid uh, problem solved. So I'm going to meet the doctor tomorrow and see if I can get some extra medications for the thyroid. And meanwhile, I'm just uh, trying to reduce it by eating well and eating Brazil nuts, eating stuff that is going to uh, reduce the thyroid problems. And it's pretty much the same procedure if you have hypothyroidism uh, to little uh, hormones being produced or hyperthyroidism to to overactive thyroid kind of leads to the same type of um, uh, changes in food so pretty much gotta be low in cruciferous vegetables cauliflower i can't really eat much of it will mess with my iodine uptake um, no dairy as i said no coffee uh, there's a few other things that also has to be taken into consideration, but um, it's a tough thing with iodine because um, if you don't uh, do the probiotics and apple cider vinegar and, and make it a good environment to absorb the, the magnesium, then you can eat all the supplements in the world and they won't be absorbed anyway. So, um, But I definitely feel the iodine getting... Uh, taken up through the eggs. I ate a lot of eggs yesterday and, and I felt instantly better just from the iodine production of that or the adding that to to be able to to produce um, the other stuff that I need. I can't, it's kind of hard when I'm not a doctor just going into every every single thing but uh, other things that also are good is green tea that I mentioned before for the T9 and uh, I hope this inspires you to do some changes uh, with how you eat and maybe get uh, also do some exercises to, uh, regarding to the kidneys like a stiff neck or a, a bad, uh, um, if it takes too long to digest your food, maybe you should definitely look into food that you digest better. Oh, and another thing, sprouted beans and uh, having your uh, oatmeal uh, soaked and your nuts soaked is very important as well. You gotta soak the nuts before eating them, otherwise they will mess with your thyroid, how healthy they are. Um, and you have to, um, you definitely have to do that with seeds, you know, just to get them to swell and to, to be, um, so it's easier to absorb the nutrition. It's not that 
uh, great to eat oatmeal otherwise if you eat it dry don't eat it dry because all the nutrition will be gone it's uh, quite the opposite of some things where some people will tell you that eating it raw will get you more nutrition that's true in some cases but in some cases it's if you uh, soak them and cook them or at least soak them you will easier take up the absorption from seeds for instance so um, don't forget to do some uh, uh, for um, uh, some pumpkin seeds for sink as well it's really important so and uh, get a nice uh, if you don't have problem with the kidneys uh, get get a lot of potassium every day uh, if you have kidney problems like me uh, make sure to not eat as much potassium so see with everything this is a different thing you know some people will react really badly from something and and uh, you gotta listen to the body if it reacts badly then you shouldn't put that in your body it's pretty much as simple as that i mean i've had like i had to remove gluten as well because of the thyroid but i felt even before that i knew that that gluten really made me sluggish and and uh, uh, feeling bad so it's um definitely uh good to look into that but i, I think uh from these changes, my skin has gotten a bit brighter. I have, uh, I, I am more uh, aware of the way I looked. So, so in a way, I maybe, when taking these measures, I felt more bad about my body since my body is used as a bad example. And so my body type is used as a bad example in so many types of videos on like exercise and adrenal fatigue and stuff like that. So you can't go into it too much because you still gotta have self-love and think that you are enough and love you as you are but you still don't you're not gonna accept being sick and uh, being overweight is a sign of being sick unfortunately so but that said it, it doesn't mean that i'm not doing everything right so uh, think about that before you judge the book by its cover it's uh, it's really tough to have a tired problem, so uh, you can work a lot at it, but still not get the respect you deserve. So, uh, but I'm thinking sustainable. I'm thinking, what can I do in the long run? Meditating, stress, uh, le lowering stress that also blocks uh, iodine and uh, taking up other uh, important things. So I, I definitely think intermittent fasting is a good thing. It, it enhances growth hormone and stuff like that. And all these good things happen even if you don't can't lose weight from a slow thyroid. So intermittent fasting is still the way to go for health. And uh, don't forget that you can eat salt. Just have to eat the right amount of potassium as well. So salt isn't an enemy either. It's just eat salt. Don't forget the potassium. That has to be a four to one thing. So. I want to thank some sources, uh, Dr. Berg, um, and also two other ones I'm going to list below that would really help me with uh, looking into adrenal fatigue and thyroid healthy food. Uh, it's a big uh, problem. I mean, even if it's just 5% of Americans, uh, for example, it's still a lot of people. So and I don't know what the statics is, statistics are in Sweden, but I've always been... Uh, sensitive to